president signed on Tuesday, wasn't it? Republican Congressman Pete Huckstra of Michigan voted against the stimulus, is on the phone now. So what, would you encourage your governor, uh, Jennifer Granholm, to turn down this money? No, I would not. So you took a stand against the bill, uh, but you think that the money should go to your families in Michigan? Well, absolutely. I, if our governor in Michigan were given the opportunity to make the decision to contribute to you know, donating to this stimulus package and taking on the burden of the debt or saying no to the stimulus money, I might have encouraged her and probably would have encouraged her to say no, say no to the money uh, because, you know, Michigan taxpayers then will be saved, save the cost of, you know, the horrendous cost of this bill. But if the federal government is going to be spending and borrowing this money from taxpayers and putting the burden on Michigan taxpayers, then at the same time, Michigan should get the money that uh, we are contributing to it. Let me break down Michigan's share here. Totals about seven billion dollars, and 2.3 billion they say will go to Medicaid. 2.2 billion will go to education, including early childhood and special ed. 845 million to road and bridge work, and 279 million for weatherization, which I'm assuming in Michigan could save people a lot of money on their utility bills. So when you're looking Looking at this, I mean, what do you disagree with about the, this money in Michigan? Well, I'll tell you a couple of things that we disagree with and that I disagreed with. It. Number one, this money is going to be borrowed. This money is not coming out of a rainy day fund uh, in Washington that we've set aside for tough times. This is all new borrowing by the United States of America that in the long run is going to, I think, lead to hyperinflation. So, Congressman, are you saying that Republicans should have planned better and, and put aside a rainy day fund when they were in charge of Congress? I think uh, Congress, uh, Republicans and Democrats would have been well advised to create rainy day funds for tough times rather than massive new borrowing. The other thing is this money is going to come to Michigan with lots of strings attached. Mm -hmm. uh, two years ago I'm riding through my district and I see that they're putting up a fence uh, in a wetlands area. And I, you know, I did some checking on this and found out that uh, as I was dodging the potholes on the highway, on the uh, expressway here in West Michigan, uh, the federal government was basically requiring or restricting highway money coming to Michigan, and we were building a turtle fence. Well, I'll tell you, when we've got the highest unemployment in the country, and the federal government says, here, use your highway money, and rather than repairing interchanges, yeah. or you know, patching potholes, you're building a turtle fence. That's crazy. What we fought for was more flexibility so Michigan could spend its education money, its job training money, and right. its highway money where we believe it needs to be spent, not where a federal bureaucrat thinks we ought to spend Congressman it. Congressman Hookstra, I hear you. Thank you so much for your time today. And by the way, I just wanted to mention...